In this video, I'll be explaining what RAG is, a retrieval augmented generation and its variation multimodal RAG. Simply put, RAG is a system built using LLMs and vector databases that can answer any queries about the text provided in simple natural language. The key is that the information being asked should be present in the knowledge base. Let's take a simple example. Imagine you have a blog and you have a question about different configuration for different kinds of training. Then a simple RAG system would index all the text data from the blog and simply find the information you're looking for and generate an answer. Now, you would be wondering, how is this whole system working? What are the various components that unravel the whole magic? Let's explore. As you can see, a typical text or a naive RAG has two major components, ingestion and query. We can spend hours going into detail, but let's understand the flow at a very high level. First, ingestion. In this process, you ingest all the text data and split the text into smaller chunks, like splitting the page in smaller paragraph chunks. Now, for each of these chunks, you send them to an embedding model that converts them into vectors. Now, building a vector chunk is important since it will be easier to find similar chunks to the user query and hence filter the important chunks compared to all the other chunks. Second is query time. Now, each question user is asking, you convert them into embeddings. Once they are into vectors, you can simply run a semantic similarity between query vector and chunk vectors to filter out the most relevant chunk for the query. Once those chunks are filtered, you can simply use the prompt and ask the LLM to give you the final answers. LLMs are great at generating answers based on the relevant context. It should be able to find the most crucial information from a bunch of similar looking text like a needle in the haystack. Okay. So far, we have learned at simple level what is text drag, but we have a different problem at hand, multimodal. Wait, what do you mean by multimodal? Multimodal is a different modalities of data like video, audio, documents with text, images, tables, etc. It is used in conjunction with LLMs for input capability. For example, Gemini models can input any of these modalities and can reason with them. All right, that's very impressive, but what does it have to do with the RAG? Let's take an example to understand that. In a similar page from a document we took earlier, imagine your question was about a specific entity in the table. Now, thing to remember here is that table is present as image and would have been excluded in the text drag. Hence, your question on the table would result in no answer. Now, take a step back and think. The most enterprise documents are like this, which has various figures, tables, images, demonstrations, workflows, architectures, etc. Building a text drag wouldn't be sufficient in this case. We need something like multimodal drag, which can also reason through images and help us answer queries where the answers are available on those image data. Of course, multimodal drag would have more scope since ideally it should be able to reason through all modalities. But in this problem statement, we are restricting ourselves to only text and image. All right. We have the foundation of our problem statement very clear. Now let's talk about the solution. Here we will do it in two steps. First, a visual overview of what needs to be done. And second, code walkthrough of the build solution. First, let's understand visually what needs to be done to address multimodal, which is text and image drag. This is a similar architecture we saw on the normal text drag. And one change we need to do here is the ability to ingest both text and images. What it means is that while extracting text from documents, let's say PDF, extract both text and image programmatically. There are many open source tools to do that, most widely being PyMU PDF. Next, we leverage the intelligence of Gemini models by doing a simple trick. We will take the image extracted and send it to Gemini to help us create a description of what is going on in the image. You can see the prompt we are using, the image we are sending to Gemini and its response. This simple way, we are able to convert multimodal data to a text format. Brilliant, isn't it? Now, once we have the input image data as the text, we can simply use the same text pipeline since now we can easily find the information hidden in the images. Okay, so this is how the flow would look roughly. For text, it remains the same, but for the images, we convert the image description to first a text embedding and second image embeddings by using vertex multimodal embeddings. For the next section, if you would like to follow along, please check out the link in the description. 
If you'd like to skip ahead to see the final working system, feel free to jump to the next chapter. We start by setting up the environment and supporting various libraries that are going to be useful. We also import all the Gemini models and the embedding. Next, we download four research and technical papers as sample set which we can use to build and test the system. To avoid any other complications, we have exported the code for the core functionalities to a helper function such that we can use them as libraries. You can refer to the link given in the notebook to see the code in detail. We import those functions here and set the name of model as environment variables. The first step we take is to build metadata of the files. The process will extract the text and images from each file and relevant metadata like page numbers, file names, etc. This step is very crucial as a first step and sets the tone of accuracy for the whole system. You can also see the prompt we are using to send to Gemini to extract the description of the image. The get document metadata function returns two metadata, one for text and another one for images. As discussed before, you can see how it has attached the metadata per page about both text and images. You can see in the image metadata that Gemini has given the description. This crucial element makes it a multimodal rack system because now you can search within the images as well. To process further and use these metadata, we are importing additional helper functions that will help us explore the next set of implementation. First, we start by using only text metadata and try to get an answer about a medical benchmark, which we know beforehand is available on the images. As expected, you can see that the simple text rack couldn't find the answer, which is expected since we didn't include any image metadata into it. However, if you do the same query with image metadata and its description, you'll be able to find the answer we are looking for. You can clearly see the difference between both the metadata and understand the power of including multimodal data. We can quickly check all the images which are semantically closer to the query the user has asked. You can see clearly how Gemini has done a fabulous job of extracting all the details such that we are able to find the relevant information. Now, with these two basic components, let's try to build a multimodal drag end to end. First, we start by various complex queries where we know beforehand that the answers are available in both text and images. Next, it goes to all the elements page-wise in the text metadata and filters the most relevant chunks compared to the query. It does that by simple semantic similarity using cosine similarity metric. It does the same by finding all the images which are semantically similar to the query using the image description generated by Gemini. Next, we write a new multimodal prompt. As you can see, we give a very detailed structure to the prompt and add a lot of introspection analysis inbuilt as an instruction. Now, the last part is to add text and image context. So you can see that here we are combining all the context into one single JSON-like structure with proper citation of each pair. Adding a citation for each relevant chunk and image is very important because we want the final LLM call to cite from where it's picking those answer. And finally, we take the prompt, context along with the text, images, and the metadata, and send all to Gemini for one last time to let it figure out the answers to all the questions in the original query. You can see how Gemini did an amazing job of figuring out the answers to each and every question that we asked. It followed the instruction very carefully and gave the answers in the same format with the proper citation. This is the power of multimodal drag. We build the simplest version and you can see how we were able to get complicated reasoning out of it. Now, I'd like you to think about all the use cases where you can use this idea in your enterprise setting. In this session, we saw how to create a multimodal drag and understood key foundational concepts behind such a system. If you want to learn more about drag and various multimodal drag systems, you can explore the following folder in the repo. I'm excited about all the amazing things that you'll build with this knowledge. Thanks for watching.